So guys, welcome to the first ever Waxing Away YouTube video. It's also gonna be Hamid's first video as well from T12 Productions, who's behind the camera. We're coming to the end of 2021 now, so we're probably not gonna have as much as we wanted to post, but 2022 is gonna be looking a lot more promising. We've got a lot planned, so I hope you guys enjoy. Arrow Performance are gonna be on the way to pick the Renault 5 GT Turbo up. They're gonna give us a bit of advice on what to do with it, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So this is the Renault 5 GT Turbo that we bought. We bought it the middle of this year. We've not done anything really to it at the moment. The guys from Arrow Performance, like I say, are gonna be taking it, looking over it for us and recommending what we need to do with it. Trying to um, ignore the bit of the crap in the background. That's gonna be another video. But this is the Renault 5. It's got the Renault Turbo alloys on it. It's had a bit of work under the bonnet got paperwork like that, I've still not had a chance to read, but we'll get to that. Uh, it's got the bucket seats, as you can see, which I've been told are quite rare at the moment. You can't get these anymore, they've been discontinued. Most of the interior is still pretty factory, apart from the back seats have been ripped out, the door cards have been changed. It's got a big two-speaker um, base box and amp. It's also had some work done to the engine, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm no mechanic, but we know it's had a lot spent on it. I've read a little bit of what it's had done to it, but the guys from our old performance are definitely going to tell us a lot more about this than I know. So we do know that this is a personal preference. A lot of people don't like it when people take a nice original Renault 5 GT Turbo and start sticking body kits on it and spoilers and changing the alloys. But it's got the nice Renault Turbos, which are very rare now. You don't really see many of them. I know it's had upgraded brakes all round. It's got the gas suspension on it, which is coilover, which are coilovers, which I've been told. It's got the Samco hoses on the, on the engine, uh, all the chrome piping, but we're not 100% sure what we're going to be doing with that yet. We have got big plans. I'm not going to give too much away, but we have got plans with the bodywork as well. But that's, a, that's going to be another video. I won't open that because I don't want to give too much away. I've actually lost the key somewhere. Don't know where it is. Don't know where it is. Anyway, we'll just carry on talking. So people who do know me know how bad I am for my paintwork. It's got to be crisp. At the moment, this has come to us how it is. We've not had time to do anything with it. We've got a very light polish just to bring, bring it up a little bit. But on the spoiler mainly, it's got a lot of lacquer pop. It's got really deep scratches. We have noticed the odd tiny little bit of bubbling and blistering here and there, which will be gone. We don't know whether we're going to change the colour. We don't know whether we're going to change the uh, the style of it. We don't know whether we're going to change the engine yet. We've got loads of plan loads planned, uh, but we'll see what we can see what we can get done for next year. That's a little bit of a what we've what we've got to do, or what we've got coming up. Um, we're going to now take it outside because the guys are outside with the trailer. I've just heard them. We're going to take her out. We're going to put her on the trailer and then it's over to our old performance.
So Renault 5 is now in, as you can see. Guys from Arrow Performance, Rob and Dave have come to pick it up. All tucked in nicely, and now it's over to Berry to their premises. Stay tuned, guys. There she goes. 